Hello there lovely people, it's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and lo and behold it is finally time for us to do some reviewing on that good old Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World. No mucking around this time, let's dive right into things. <laughs> Unless you've been living under an unusually soundproofed rock recently, you'll know that Nintendo has been looking at various Wii U games to give a second lease of life to on the 3DS. That was horribly worded. Yoshi's Woolly World is one of those games, and thankfully the transition from big to small screen hasn't detracted from the quality of the title. As anyone who's played the original Wii U version will know, this game brings a more relaxed, gentle platforming adventure to the table. Everything you'd expect from a Yoshi game is here. The flutter jumping, the swallowing enemies, the whole kazoo. As in the original, you'll also have a variety of collectibles to get your hands on. There are five flowers, five yarn balls that turn into a Yoshi at the end of the stage if you collect them all, and 20 crafting parts. The latter replace the Miiverse stamps because, well, we all know where Miiverse is headed, don't we? Naturally, items are often hidden from you and you'll have to explore to find them all. It's a staple of the Yoshi series and it works really well. The grand total of 48 levels may seem a little meager, but levels are vast and you have so much to find in them that you'll find yourself spending far more time on a single level than you ever would in say, a Mario game. Going back and collecting things you missed is part and parcel, so be prepared to get more out of this than you might initially think. Death doesn't occur very often in the first part of the game, but towards the end, you're gonna have to really start pushing that Yoshi moveset. You'll have to be seriously on your toes if you don't want to end up getting slapped right back to the last checkpoint, but if you're not the hardcore gaming type, there's an alternative. Enter Mellow Mode, another recurring feature from the Wii U version. This allows you to hover indefinitely with Yoshi's fetching wings and also bring along three poochie pups that help point out secrets that you might otherwise have missed. For any Yoshi veteran worth their salt, this might seem extremely easy, but for any younger players who are drawn in by the cute aesthetic, it's a nice little addition. For a bonus helping hand, you can also slap a poochie amiibo onto your device and the titular character will pop in to guide you on your way. This isn't being shown on screen right now because I didn't get a yarn poochie amiibo. On a lighter note, fans of depth will be pleased to hear that the 3D functionality is fully employed in this game, unlike some other recent 3DS titles. And it looks good. Moving on! So whilst we're talking about visuals, let's not beat around the bush. It does not look as good as the original Wii U version. I know, I know, I'm as shocked as you are, but seriously, for what it's running on, this game holds up really, really well. The colours still pop, and the frame rate is really solid, overall it just runs really well on the new 3DS. But you already know most of this, so what about this game is actually new? Well, just like in the original, there's the Yoshi Tent. But this time there's a key new feature, and that's designing your own Yoshi. Needless to say, this is something that could be so easily abused, but I would never stoop to such a level, at least not on camera. It's fabulously versatile and allows users to really get their creative juices flowing. You'll also want to peruse the Poochie Tent, as not only is it completely new, but it also allows you to indulge in the new Poochie levels. These are similar to the infinite runners that you've no doubt heard of that have plagued smart devices for so long, with the key difference being that these are actually good. The controls are tight, simple, and it's just a lot of fun to run around as Poochie trying to achieve a perfect score. And the last on the list of the various huts is the Yoshi Theatre, which houses the 31 stop-motion short films that are so damned adorable your eyes may fall out. They really are that cute. <laughs> All in all, Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World is an excellent, tight controlling platformer with some really interesting and fun ideas thrown into the mix to build on the original. While Super Mario Maker lost some things in its transition to the 3DS, this has everything you'd expect. That's why we are proud to give Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World a 9 out of 10. It's just as good as the original, and arguably even better with its new features. If you already own the Wii U original, then it's hard to say whether you should double dip or not, but if you don't, then this is honestly a complete no-brainer. But what do you think? Do you have an opinion about this game that you may not have possibly played by the time you actually watch this video? Let us know by leaving a comment down there in the comments. 
obviously. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you knit a woolen version of that subscribe button? No, seriously, do it. And be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>